my dear student today i will discuss about comparative account of brain in vertebrates it is under semester 4 8 paper and unit 7 the topic repeated again comparative account of brain in vertebrates the brain is an organ that serves as the center of the nervous system in all vertebrates the brain is divisible into mainly three parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain the fore brain or prosecephalon includes olfactory lobes cerebrum telencephalon and diencephalon on the other hand mesencephalon or mid brain comprises corpora quadrigemina and pleura cerebri the hind brain or rom romcephalon consists of cerebellum pons thoroughly and medulla oblongata now we will discuss the basic difference about lower vertebrates to higher vertebrates structurally uh, structurally we can, firstly we will discuss about cyclostomes we know the cyclostomes nixin pectomyzon etc is the example of cyclostomata first cyclostomes the uh, brain of cyclostomes consists of the olfactory lobes their olfactory lobes is large and paired olfactory lobes are large and paired the cerebral hemisphere the cerebral hemisphere are small attached to the diencephalon the cerebral hemisphere means um, uh, the main parts of the fore brain um, fore brain the cerebrum this cerebrum is divided the outer is divided into two main parts right cerebral hemisphere and left cerebral hemisphere these cerebral hemispheres are small in case of cyclostomes a pair of large optic lobes is dorsally placed these are all the structures um these structures are dorsally viewed the olfactory lobes uh i uh, sorry the, the optic lobe is dorsally placed the optic lobes the cerebellum the cerebellum it is um uh, rhombocephalon uh or hind brain cerebellum and ventral medulla and medulla oblongata are mass in mass larger these are larger larger this is the structure of cyclostomic brain the uh, brain structure of fishes mainly we will discuss bony fishes in case we know the fishes are generally two types uh, elasmobranch ki uh, or cartilaginous and uh, osteichthyes bony fishes the cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes the bony fishes the, uh, the bony fishes the olfactory lobes cerebral hemisphere left cerebral hemisphere and right like cerebral hemisphere and diencephalon are smaller than cartilaginous fish here is the structure of bony fishes but in cartilaginous fishes is uh, they are cerebral hemisphere and uh, olfactory lobes is large uh, la is uh, size is larger than bony fishes but their size is smaller than cartilaginous species the medulla oblongata medulla oblongata uh, is well developed with special lobes for entry of lateral line nerves 
after our develop into amphibia uh, it is very interesting that it is the uh, it is the uh, last lower vertebrates uh, their olfactory lobes smaller the olfactory lobes is smaller than uh, then uh, olfactory lobes are small olfactory lobes are smaller than bony fishes the cerebral hemisphere cerebral hemisphere the outer membrane this is the cerebral hemisphere left and right cerebral hemisphere are more developed are more developed the cerebral hemisphere are more separated than the fishes this is the more separated left and right are more separated than in fishes the floor of the cerebrum uh, the, the floor of the cerebrum region such as corpus striatum or pelistriatum receive greater number of sensory fiber of thalamus here the sensory large number of sensory fibers are present a pair of large optic lobes a pair of large optic lobes are larger and dorsally placed than dorsally placed the walls of midbrain are thickened midbrain region are thickened and reduce the lumen into narrow passages called aqueduct the cerebrum this is the cerebrum the uh, uh, this region the cerebrum and ventral medulla oblongata and medulla oblongata are small in size and poorly developed and generally the cerebrum and medulla oblongata are poorly developed small and poorly developed now we go we discuss uh, discuss about the reptile brain of reptiles this is the reptiles are generally developed vertebrae uh, the brain is more developed uh, the part of telencephalon the telencephalon is a part of this is the telencephalon this is the part of forebrain and they become largest part of the brain this region telencephalon region is the largest part is covered almost region of the forebrain where olfactory lobes tend to be larger than amphibians and olfactory tract are olfactory tract these are later olfactory tract mm, are long these are long than amphibian here is interesting there they have a jacobson organ uh, for smelling uh, a fine Bomero nasal nerves from the organ of Jacobson goes to the olfactory bulbs. This is the region of olfactory bulbs. This region, the cerebrum, the main parts of the forebrain is large because the expansion of the corpus striatum. This region is eh, is very much large. The expansion of the corpus striatum. A pair of auditory lobes are solid. The auditory 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 lobes are solid found posterior to the optic lobe. This is the optic lobes. This is dorsally. Eh? Here to the opposite position. Opposite position. Um, all pectoral lobes are present larger than amphibia. It is larger than amphibia. The cerebral region, the cerebral is larger because the expansion of the corpus. Asa, a pair of auditory lobes are solely found the posterior of optic lobes. The cerebrum region, the posterior, uh, the rhombocephalon region, uh, cerebrum is pear shaped. These are pear shaped in structure and larger than amphibians. This is the smaller and this is on the larger. Now we will discuss about brain of bars. It is um, the brain of bars are um, uh, are most developed than reptilians. They are uh, brain is posterior uh, post, uh, proportionately larger than that of a reptile. It is proportionately larger. Um, 
and it is short this it is short but broad it is short or broad where olfactory lobes are small where olfactory their olfactory lobes are small but very much developed the cerebrum is the main part cerebral cerebrum region the cerebrum is large smooth and projects posteriorly over diencephalon diencephalon means the part of the whole brain the floor of cerebrum such as corpus striatum is greatly enlarged this region is greatly enlarged here the cerebral hemisphere is very large this is the other left cerebral hemisphere this is the right cerebral hemisphere is larger it larger in size than reptiles optic lobes is well developed but laterally displaced this is the optic lobes these are um bare optic lobes are developed and laterally displaced cerebrum is large with several superficial the cerebrum the many folded with several superficial fold they were uh, this is now the last the high the uh, most uh, the most develop uh, develop brain is found in mammals in mammals generally we can uh, see um, uh, class mammalia uh, prototheria and theria the sub class prototheria and theria in prototheria uh, example uh, marsupials platypus uh, the scientific name is um, ornithohynchus and uh, there uh, brain is like a stalks are the brain this is its highest development uh, uh, development actually uh, the uh, actually um, actually uh, the uh, mammalian mammalian brain this is its highest development in mammals the perineum is evolved the perineum evolved into complex six layer the layer is six generally six layer structure this is called neocortex and isocortex we can um, uh, found the uh, previous uh, structure uh, perineum they are uh, they are structurally they um, they developed into three layer the outer membrane is three layer but here the in mammals they are six layer structure these are called neocortex or or isocortex in uh, now we we'll go to again uh, prototheria the cerebral hemisphere region the right cerebral hemisphere uh, left cerebral hemisphere are small and smooth olfactory cortex is greatly expanded cerebellum cerebellum region the cerebellum is an expanded cerebellum and a thicker spinal cord present and thicker spinal cord present now the theria subclass theria is divided into two intra class metatheria and eutheria metatheria uh, the example of metatheria um, kangaroo uh, macropus uh, scientific name macropus kangaroo uh, their cerebral hemisphere are large and smooth their cerebral hemisphere and they have not stuck sign uh, but in eutheria this is eutheria we have primates human beings are uh, uh, the example of human or uh, example of eutheria their cerebral hemisphere are greatly enlarged and two hemispheres are jointed internally by transverse band like fibers called corpus callosum is a are internally divided it is called corpus callosum where olfactory lobes are relatively small but well developed olfactory lobes are small but very much well developed structures are diencephalon and big brain diencephalon and mid brain are completely covered with cerebral hemisphere the cerebral commune uh, previously we, are, we uh, have seen that cerebral hemisphere mainly covered the cerebral region but here we can found that the um, uh, we can that it is that it is covered uh, uh, into diencephalon and with mid brain mammals have four solid optic lobes their four solid to pair uh here it is found only two, two pair one pairs and opposite in the one pair total number of 
hole. Hole. Now, mammals have four so solid lobes called corpora quad disemina on the roof of the mid brain. It is found on the mid of the brain. Mid brain. Cerebellum. This is the region, the cerebellum region. And it is very much large, conspicuously folded, and many overlay both mid brain and medulla. Um, the medulla oblongata lies ventrally and is mass thickened. It is mass thickened. Now we will just uh, conclude it that the hind brain, hind brain, and mid brain of mammals are generally similar to those of these other vertebrates. There is no um, no major differences have been not found, but. Dramatic difference we have found that dramatic differences appear in the four brain region. Studying the comparative study of the brain in various vertebrates, it is clear that cerebral hemisphere of four brain from lower to higher vertebrates, especially higher mammals, is completely uh, 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 dominated and acting as coordinated center of the brain yes it is coordinating all part coordinating all parts of the body the cerebral cortex is the part of brain that most strongly distinguishes in mammals it is that's why this topic is very uh, interesting and uh, it is very much important for you um, if you have any question about this topics you can message or call me without any hesitation please read thoroughly in details in your book you have you can uh, if you have any problem please contact with me thank you all my beloved friends thank you again